Hey guys, Crab Topsy Dan here. This is going to be my official <clears throat> how to ride a motorcycle video. Went ahead and I washed my bike. It's not squeaky clean, not 100% squeaky clean, but that's yeah, still something. Um, <clears throat> okay. For those of you that don't know how to ride a bike, key and introductions as in I'm Cryptopsy. This is my Suzuki Bandit 1200S with the kill switch, um, disassembled, and GP shifting enabled. <clears throat> I'm still trying to get that video out. So for a majority of people that want to know how to do GP shifting or want to <laughs> trade their shit to GP shifting, <sighs> Man, I'm out of breath. Alright, let's get started. Kickstand up. This is carbureted. Must unlock. And it has been like three or four days since I've ridden my bike. Just prior to like bad weather and rain. It looked pretty nice by now. That looks pretty tripped out up in the sky. And I just got a text message. But for the most part, let's get started. On the right hand side you have your front brake, down here that silver one right there is your rear brake, clutch, gas, kill switch, starter, bright lights, see the blue or purple, whatever it appears to be, the left, right, blinker, horn, and your shifter. You gotta hold in your clutch before you start. I mean it's very simple to ride a bike. You know, I, I ride bold, standard cars, and obviously motorcycles. Don't know how to ride a, <laughs> don't know how to ride a moped, never try. Oh, so they really just bought himself a new, uh, a new BMW. But I went ahead and I tightened my, uh, tightened my chain up and I needed to do that. I mean, shit, it's been a while since I fucking rid in three days. But it's real simple. Uh, whenever you start off, you can let go of the clutch and let it roll by itself without touching the gas. That usually lets you know how much, you know, how much, I guess how much release you could do before the bike starts, you know, like taking off on its own, so you know how to throttle and how to work the throttle and cr clutch. I mean, that's that's very important. I can't stress it enough. Like that is one thing you're gonna have to learn how to do. You must learn how to work it. <laughs> work it. Yes. You must learn how to work it. Uh, for the most part, I mean, you can do the kill switch. Um, that one, the red button. It doesn't, it just kills the engine, it doesn't turn off the power. So, I don't know, I, I've heard two different things. Use it, don't use it. I don't use it um, very often. I mean, I'm, when I say I don't use it, I've had my bike for about five and a half, six months. And I've probably used it about two or three times. But they were on accident. So, you could, you could pretty much, I don't use it because I don't find the need to. I, I'm not, I'm not racing, I'm not going to fucking crash. And I'm not doing anything, you know, reckless to the point where I'm going to need that kill switch. But it does come in handy if you're going to, if you do get in an accident, you need to kill your engine real quick. I mean, it does have its pros and cons, just like everything else does. We're going to go get gas. I hope I have enough time for gas. If not, then that's fine. But yeah, I mean, it's simple. It's simple, it's easy. The only thing that you have to work on, I know was a little troubling for me at first, was the... Oh, um, sorry, I thought I just saw my wife. It was interesting, it was the, uh, shit. Oh yeah, the, um, the cancellation of the blinkers, because, you know, I was driving cars, this is my first bike. So it's not true what they all say. You don't have to be, you don't have to buy 250 in order to start on a motorcycle. It's just it's retarded and dumb. You don't have to do that. They just want you to spend your money. That's about it. I'm 
Polisi that we just saw right there. But I mean, it's simple. Right now, we're going to cover. Uh, da, 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 da. We'll cover counter steering right now. And for those of you that don't know what counter steering is, it's very simple. Very easy. And you'll get it. I mean, it's very simple. And damn, this weather's nice. I've been wanting to ride my bike for like the past three days and I finally have have the chance to and I want to speed but I can't because it's a shitty. Um, but okay, counter steering, real simple. Between 30 but the fucking Camaro right behind us is right on my ass. It's all speed right now. Counter steering, alright. Counter steering is real simple. If you push with your right hand, you push forward. You're gonna go right. Watch, look, push right, and you go right. You pull with your right hand towards you, you'll go left. And same thing when you push left with your left hand, you go left, you pull, you go right. And I mean, it, it's simple, it's fun, it's easy. Uh, you could do, like I said, you will, you could drive with one hand. See, I could go this way, and that's pulling, this is pushing, you could use your body. I mean, it's no biggie. Anyone could do it. It's not hard. I mean, it, it actually came quite natural. Uh, it's it's very natural. If you want to really get into it, it, it it's very natural. I, it came natural to me. I don't know if you guys rode uh, bicycles when you were kids. I know I did a lot of bike riding when I was a little kid, man. I mean, that's how I got to and from shit. And, I mean, it works. It's fun. And then you have motorcycles which are pretty much like the same thing man I mean really it's like the same fucking thing <clears throat> oh man I think those are called uh, halo eyes or halo lights or something That's what the dude has on his Camaro I swear if I get a race right now that'd be awesome I'd smoke his ass but still it'd be nice to get like a race finally because I've raced my friend, he has a Jixer, one liter, and we raced, this is only you know, 1200, you know, but this is a sport touring bike versus his, versus his super sport bike, so <laughs> he does have the edge, majority of the time. Well, we only raced once, and I beat his ass, and that was real nice. It's hot, it's hot. Well, it's not hot, but not that windy. The only way I can explain it is that this is perfect, uh, perfect October weather and we're not even in October yet we're still in September 16th you yeah, know we're September 16th right now today not for long but soon all right <clears throat> but for the most part I mean it's real easy right now I'm, I'm uphill so I have to keep the brake on time I learned how to ride a bike I, I, I had to drive all the way to I had to drive more or less like an hour an hour and 20 minutes give or take to work and I had to go through these little towns on the expressway oh dude I was flawless on the expressway because you don't do shifting you don't do much shifting I mean it's just like you get in and go real simple real easy and <laughs> so when I was on town, dude, like stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. Dude, my bike cut out on me so many fucking times. I was just like, oh, damn, what the hell. But it was real funny. I digged it. I, th I thought it was fucking hilarious as hell. Watch out people down here. I'm not I'm not kidding dude. People down here will fucking run over your ass. They will dude. They they fucking will. They won't even well I think I'm over exaggerating, but it, it's still pretty bad. See the guy's not even using a blinker in front of us, so 
I don't know. And I know by far the only state that is viable to, you know, to drive without using a blinker for, for anything is Louisiana. Or New Orleans. Whichever you prefer. That shit, the guy just went. No, I can't go. I just saw a live bubble right there. And that's how you play catch up. And the guys in back are just, I mean, the guys in front of us are like staring because they see me. And I think they think I'm pretty cool. I mean, my helmet, I mean, it's got spikes on it. And, got a green windshield, green, blue, I don't know, it changes colors. So nice to ride. Okay, simple rule of engagement now downshifting. There are two ways you could do this. My back tire just locked up, but it doesn't scare me. It sounds very scary, but it, it's not. I'm not gonna lie, it's not scary for shit. Really, it isn't. And I shift down, check out. <laughs> That's what I meant by GP shifting, you shift down instead of up to the gears. And so whenever you're in the turns, so whenever you're in the turns, you don't, uh, you, you don't scrape your foot against the ground. That's why I decided to choose and to go with GP shifting because I've noticed, just like that U-turn we took right now to get on this side because we were just right over there. Because uh, on those U-turns, whenever I'm going just a wee bit fast, your, my foot scrapes against the tarmac or the street, whichever you prefer. And the last thing I want is for my my toes to get caught between the foot, the the bike peg and my fucking toes and my shoe. So and then turn snapping my ankle, my metacarpal, you know, completely diffusing it. My my tibia patella, well, just my tibia, not my patella, but my tibia and my fibula. And that'd be very painful, and I don't want that shit. See, little kids, little, they're waves. For some odd reason, I don't get it. I get a lot of attention from girls and little kids. But not so much girls because they see the spikes, they get scared. Now, I don't mind that, I don't give a fuck, I'm married. But little kids, I think it's pretty weird. You think kids would just be, you know, intimidated by, you know, a fucking helmet with spikes on it, not so much intrigued and just want to go and hug it. So it's pretty badass. Even my son's the same way. My son is pretty much the same way. But da <laughs> as in downshifting, I mean, you could downshift, no problem. I mean, it just depends on the person. The VTEC, the Honda of some sort. <clears throat> and, you know, downshifting, you're just holding the clutch. I mean, you could downshift without the clutch, but, you know, I've been noticing some differences since I've been doing that. And I don't mean differences in a good way. They're just like bad, just fucking terrible. So right there, down shifting.
Alright, part two in a bit.